Howdy ho! Hey girl gang, what up everybody? Good to see you guys. It's Friday Eve. Ooh. I hope you guys are having a real good Friday Eve up until now. Thank you for spending a little bit of it here with the girl gang. Wait, who's ready to brown out? Oh no. Well, listen, listen, before we get into it tonight, we have a, a triple react to do tonight, of course. We're going to be watching My Healthy Chicken Pot Pie. Trotters in the pie. Uh, then the Canadian road trips to the Iraqi border. Border clickbait. And then eat lunch with me. All right, that's the plan for tonight. A little triple react. We have a lot to watch. Now, we had been starting all the streams with a little throwback, a little look back to some of the nastiest messages exchanged between Salad, Scatman, and Cunt Bella. Um, tonight, we're taking a little pause on that. For anybody who was on Twitter, and maybe some of y'all don't know, there is an alleged cunt Bella. And I say alleged cunt Bella. Somebody came back onto Twitter, okay, and they're claiming to be Kai Bella. Kai Bella sounds kind of off. The new Kai Bella on Twitter. So I don't know if it's really Kai Bella. To be totally honest with you guys, and I flat out asked them in a tweet today, and I still don't know what the answer is. Um. Either it's really Kai Bella and Kai Bella has come back, but is having some kind of breakdown, mental, or it's not actually Kai Bella at all. It's a troll trolling all of us. So until it's decided, I'm not giving that much uh, attention at all. Okay. I do not know what's going on. Lime Jello. I don't think it's her. If it is, she's lost it. Yeah. I swear to God, I cannot tell. DG, I agree. It doesn't sound like her. That was my instinct too. Like, wow, that doesn't sound like Kai Bella. And then I had to like reel myself in a little and be like, how do I know what Kai Bella sounds like? You know what I mean? I don't know Kai Bella. I, I know uh, Kai Bella who came to Twitter, you know, was there for a few days, messaged back and forth with Salad. I don't know. I don't know you. You know, I, don't, I have no idea who Kai Bella is. So I don't know, you know? Um, so I'm going to just keep an eye for a while. And until then, we're certainly not pulling up their tweets because they're fucking unhinged. Sorry, not sorry. Oh, you got your calendar today? I'm so glad. Uh, sidebar on the calendars. I will be putting up the, the pictures on the community tab by the end of this week. It's so like I've been saying, I just wanted to make sure everybody who won one got to like see theirs first, make it special, you know. All right. Look at my body. Thank you so much for the super chat. So she's pretending she only ate half of that cauldron of dog food. Is she? I, I haven't watched anything. Uh, what, I wasn't around Girl World yesterday, and I mean really not around. You know what I mean? Uh, I have no idea. What I did see on Twitter, and it is where the thumbnail came from, was it looked like she debated sticking her trotter right into that pie. So was she eating all the pie with her hand? Does she eat the whole pie? 
Is she claiming, like you're saying, to have only ate half the pie? Uh, I don't think I believe that, but I can't wait to watch it with you guys. It did look like dog food. It's the worst crust I've ever seen on a pie. Anyway, listen, we will shred it momentarily. <laughs> Tay Ozzy, thank you for the super chat. Poopgate spy it diet down 30 pounds. Congratulations, girl. That's really, really good. Keep it up. Wow. Julie, hey, girl, thank you for the super chat. Ham farts for the smug towel. That is all. All right. Ham farts. I can get behind. Ham farts. Listen, whether this is fake Kybella, real Kybella, melting down Kybella, ham farts was a thing. Ham farts will not be forgotten on this channel. Mackenzie, thank you for the super chat. I have some exciting news. I got accepted to the master's program. That's fantastic. Congratulations. Awesome. Well done. Ah, you okay, Frenchie? You sound sick. Frenchie's sick. Frenchie's sick. Frenchie's barely slept since September, to be honest. So my immune system is garbage right now. I keep getting sick. I, I would say there's nothing I can do about it. I could take care of myself. I could sleep. I'm not, not, I'm not doing it right now. I'm not doing it right now. Don't tell me what to do. Let me get sick. So yeah, I'm sick again. Uh, Benetti Pot is coming tomorrow. Uh, just sidebar on the Netty Pot thing, the nose clearing thing. You remember how when I told that story the other day, and I'm not, I'm not saying this for you guys. I'm saying this for the lurkers who have real big brains until they don't want to anymore, okay? So when I mentioned the Netty Pot the other day, and I said that I was going to be recording myself doing the Netty Pot for me, I said I was recording it for me so that I could slow it down and watch it after myself. There's no fucking way I would upload that anywhere. And some brain dead fucks who really, I don't know. So they like to act all smart until they don't want to. We're like, oh my God, she's going to upload her nose. Like, no, I'm not. What are you, mental fuck? Of course I'm not. But I am mental and I do want to watch that in slow-mo. I want to see it all come out. I feel like you'll miss it in the moment. You know what I mean? It's for me. Am I not allowed to have any home videos? My God, let me live. Jesus, not everything is to share with the internet. Ah, oh, Jessica, thank you for the super chat. Hype FG girls and especially my special shout out to Oceana Song, who always thanks people for super chats. Uh, thank you for shouting out the mods. And yes, thank you to Oceana Song. You're, you're so nice, Oceana Song. You guys are all so nice. I love you guys. But thank you. <laughs> Mouth breathers, I am indeed a mouth breather right now. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> Gross, Frenchie. Listen. <laughs> Everybody has their own dirty little things. Okay. Some of y'all like ASMR. I don't like ASMR. I like popping videos. I like nose horking videos. Let me live. Rage Muffin, thank you for the super chat. Where's your backup pot pie? <laughs> So she's got the pot pie on the table and then like a pot pie underneath the table for later. Yeah, I could imagine that. I actually definitely could imagine that. This is my pie for later. This is my backup pie. Hey, girl. Hey, thank you for the super chat. Do you see those K aunts? I'm on every last night talking about you and others. But, uh, no, I did not. I, can't. I don't even know who you're talking about. <laughs> Let them talk. You know what it is in life, right? Anyway, you know what? Just let them die. I don't give a fuck. Auntie M, thank you for the super chat. Ooh, vertigo. That sucks, girl. I hope you're doing better soon. You can get back to the routine, but enjoy the little break from it while you can. Thank you for being here. I like ASMR, but nothing food adjacent. I don't know. ASMR never does it for me. Never. I never get the tingles like everybody said. No, but those popping videos, watching like pimple popper videos, that's, that's how I like calm myself down. That's how I like, ooh, before bed, there's nothing better than watching a few good pops and then going to bed. You know what I mean? It's like my self-soothing. I'm nasty like that. Uh, Tensee, thank you for the super chat. You got it? Damn, tabarnak. That's really rough, girl. Soup, drinks, naps. Lean into it. I hope you're feeling better soon. Cat, hey, girl, thank you for the super chat. My pop podcast rolls. Petus wins again. Listen. You can slap the words healthy before pot pie all you want. It's not even attempting to be a healthy pot pie. What do you need a double crust for on a fucking healthy pot pie? 
That's insane. How about a crustless pot pie with no cream on the inside? That right there would definitely be, let's say, a healthy pot pie. This, this is not a healthy pot pie. Oh, yeah, Geraldine, I know my immune system is whack right now. I'm somebody who was like, I never get sick. Never get sick. I hadn't had the flu in like 20 something fucking. Actually, the last time I had got the flu before this was when the year switched from 1999 to 2000. My entire family had the flu. We were all sick as fucking dogs. I remember I had the bed in the living room like, oh, it was awful. Anyway, now I just keep getting sick. But yeah, you, you got to take care of yourself. When you don't take care of yourself, you got to deal with the sick. It is what it is. So I'm dealing with the sick for now. Kalari, thank you for the super chat. Still hospitalized, but down 18 pounds. Well, it sucks that you're still hospitalized, but congrats on the 18 pounds, girl. I hope you're home soon. Stephanie, thank you for the super chat. Watching you right now while my students are studying for finals. <laughs> well, thank you for being here. I hope they all do well. Ted Best, well, thank you for the super chat. Only half the pie. Oh, good. She only ate seven servings of dog food. Yeah, that's a good point, too. We say half the pie as if she made a pie in a tin big enough for two people. That's like a family-sized pie tin. Half a pie. Yeah. <laughs> I love how everyone's just calling it dog food. I can't wait to watch this. Soup not see. Thank you for the super chat. Salad pinches her cheeks. Then he pinches a loaf. <laughs> That's so fucking gross and probably accurate. No BS. Thank you for the super chat. Quit my toxic job today. Please wish me luck on finding a better stitch. Wow. Congrats. Listen, that takes balls. As grown ass people, we often get stuck in a loop of misery when it comes to jobs because we're afraid to pull that fucking trigger. So not for nothing. I know the kind of chutzpah it takes to fucking do that. Congratulations. Uh, I'm sure you will find better. You don't make ballsy moves like that and sit on your ass. You know what I mean? Yeah. Good for you. Good for you. And congratulations and good luck going forward. Wow. It's not easy. Cherry Blossom Mocha, thank you for the super chat. Happy Thursday, even though it feels like a Friday. Well, I'm glad it feels like a Friday to you. We'll call Friday Eve. Happy Friday Eve, girl. Swamp Boogie Sue, thank you for the super chat. Looks like Chantal used salad's recipe for poo crust. <laughs> Maybe he added the binder into the crust. Listen, I didn't see her make the crust. <laughs> <laughs> you never know what binder was used until you see it. Paolo, thank you for the super chat. Pot belly pig eating a pot pie. <laughs> That's an insult to pot belly pigs. They're cute. But yes. <laughs> oh. Sam, I don't want any pot pie for a long time. Thanks to her. That's that's good, I guess. A little break from a pot pie for a while. Bellini, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. She could have bought crust already made. She could have. Definitely could have. But she, no. If she's buying something, it's like the whole meal. You know what I mean? No, 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 no. <laughs> Lisa Bear, thank you for the super chat. Should my hubby the pot pie that Foodie Beauty did? I always said, well, it's large. <laughs> Looks like shit. Hell yeah. Oh, he's a chef. We love when a chef chimes in. You know, oh my God. Oh, it's large. And that's what matters to Chantal, truly. Christian, thank you for the super chat. Spy it update. 25 kilos down in five months. Holy fuck. That's awesome. That's a large amount, girl. Well done. 25 kilos in five months. Keep it up. Congrats. Wow. Yes, Lorge. It's a Lorge boy. Lorge. Hey, girl. Hey, thank you for the super chat. Do you think she farted on his face post pot pie? I don't know if he's into that because I, st I, I still don't think he's attracted enough by her to have her fart in her face. I listen, I don't know anything about this fetish thing, but from what I understand, it's what gets people's dick hearts. Okay. Like you still have to have a baseline of attraction to the person. It's not just that you want any fart in your face. If I'm under, correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> But you still have to have attraction to the person that you want farting in your face. So uh, I'm going to go with no. And also, he would have to be at the house for her to fart in his face. Just from what I saw, her face and her hand going towards that massive pie, it looks like a coping pie. Like, 
I'm going to eat a whole ass pot pie today because my fake husband is not here. Attractive farts. <laughs> That's right, Lisa Barron. <laughs> hey, girl. Hey, thank you for the super chat. Sometimes it is just about the kink. Okay, but is the kink... Could Okay, 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 okay. Okay. So you it could it could be coming from anyone's ass pretty much. It's just about the fart. Is that what you're saying to me? It could be like, I don't know, I can't even like <laughs> you ever seen Drewski? Drewski could bend over and fart in his face, and he's gonna be as attracted as like Kai Bella talking about farting in his face. Is that how that works? Because Drewski's face makes me sick. <laughs> I know that was a real random person to pull out, but I just, I'm like, who is the anti-boner if we can't talk about Chantal? You know, Drewski came to mind. <laughs> yes, I said Drewski. Sometimes it's about the freakdom. Okay. Okay. FFG, what's my favorite type of pie? Pumpkin pie. Oh, I love a pumpkin pie. I can fuck up a pumpkin pie. Ron Jeremy. <laughs> okay, little less Ron Jeremy farting in your face. You're gonna that's gonna get him off. I guess it okay. Okay. <laughs> FFG, there are guys who want girls to fart in their chip bags. <sighs> Fecal matter on the chips or an empty chip bag, and then they just huff it. Again, I don't really know how that works. I, you know what? Don't even answer that. <laughs> Fecal matter in the chips. Listen. Yes, this does feel, I, I feel, I feel off. I feel guilty. This is Friday talk. You're right, Jessica. Y'all, put a fucking cork in this until tomorrow. <laughs> it's Thursday and we have a triple react to get to. So without further ado, let me get the tab. We're going in chronological order tonight. I need to see trotters in the pie. Hold on, let me get the tab. Hello, guys. Hello. I'm super hungry, so I'm gonna say bismillah and dig right in. Okay? Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at this crust here. As you can see, I'm eating hot pie. Look at the chicken. Interesting. Okay, so we're starting out with a utensil. That's what I thought. I could not tell if she had eaten the whole pie with her trotters because her hand looked somewhat clean in the clip that I had seen on Twitter, right? So she starts with a spoon and she's just dreaming of using her trotter in the pie. Okay, that's a ladle, a serving spoon. Fair, but it's Chantal. I mean, um, why was she not recording from the beginning? Why is there already pie eaten? That's kind of weird and unlike Chantal. It's almost as if she was super depressed or, I don't know, pissed off at something, ate her, made her fucking pie sat down to eat it and as an afterthought went oh you know what let me record this and i can pop it up to onto the channel why was she already eating she doesn't usually do that you know weird behavior lisa bear thank you for the super chat ffg the chips are contaminated ah gross <laughs> mm. i need to open a restaurant for the love of public safety, don't ever think about that. Not that she got the money or the, you know, anything. She, she can't fucking do it. But don't even fucking make jokes about that. You should open a restaurant. You can't cook for shit. Look at the piece of shit pie in front of you. And this is what you're going to serve in your restaurant? Nobody wants a dog food pie. My dogs wouldn't eat that shit. I make the best pot pie. Now, my pie crust is made with oil, not butter, not lard. And whole wheat flour. Super flaky. Mm. No. No, 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 no. 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 You can make a pie crust with uh, oil all you want. Yes, that's a thing. It exists. Don't tell me that an oily pie crust is flaky. That's the point of why people use butter and non-melted butter, little chunks of butter through their crusts. It's so that when it cooks, it's flaky. Everybody fucking knows this. Huh? Everybody knows it. You're using oil and probably shit quality oil to make a pie crust, and you're calling that flaky? 
We can see the pie crust from here. I can see that there's not one flake in sight. It looks like sand on top of that pie. Flaky my ass. And I'm eating out of the dish because I just feel like it. Beauty bite. Yeah. Eating out of the dish. Still convincing us that this is a full, normal, happy marriage. She's cooking for her man and stuff. Can you imagine you come in with a family-sized pie tray in front of her? She's just scarfing it out of the pie. And then what? She's going to cut you a slice? Ma'am, that's your pie. Stop it. You're eating it out of the pie uh, crust or out of the pie uh, plate because you're not going to dirty a dish. That whole fucking thing is for you. This is your serving plate. <laughs> Why would you put it in something else? Didi, not Didi. Thank you for the super chat. So there's chicken thighs, um, corn, beans, like green beans, carrots. Oh. My homemade gravy. I'm not going to eat this whole thing. Don't worry. <laughs> We're not worried. Why would we worry? It's not our diabetes, but we also don't believe you. Of course, you're going to eat the whole thing. You're shut down. Deidre, thank you for the super chat. My mom made a shepherd's pie tonight, and after seeing Chins eat the pot pie, I said, no, thanks, Ma. Ah! <laughs> and I made my own pickled cabbage. So the trick is, guys, do not throw out your leftover pickle juice, okay? I added cabbage, a little bit of olive oil, a little bit more vinegar, and a bit of honey. What? Honey and olive oil in pickle? I'm mean, like, do you, girl? You made you made salad in that pot. That's that's a cabbage salad. And I guess things are pretty bad if she's cooking her own pie and making her own pickles. Yikes. We are still days away from payday. Jar of pickled farts. Yeah, who puts honey in there? Who puts olive oil and honey into pickles? That's not pickles. That's salad at that point. You've made, you've made a salad dressing <laughs> and not salads dressing. <laughs> He's stingy with that. He only spreads that to randos on the internet, not his fake wife. Magical cannibalist. Thank you for the super chat. Salad special poo poo papa. It, I mean, maybe that's the look she was going for. And I, you know, if she, if that was the look she's going for, she succeeded. Pixie, thank you for the super chat. She blows on the food, but salad had some. <laughs> Good point. And salad had what? So like there was like scoops missing with a spoon. It wasn't like a serving taken out. She's so full of crap. I don't know. I don't know. It's the fattest behavior. It's it's like when she would always come out and be like, "This is, I haven't even eaten today, guys." You know what I mean? Like, I'm not gonna eat this whole thing, guys. Like we know you are. Just shut up and eat your pie. I'm spending there about 30 hours. Oh, and garlic. It's delicious. Wow. Could you not maybe put a little into a side bowl before you start eating so that you don't have to be pulling them out and eating them with the shit eating hand while you eat that nasty looking pot pie? It's so good. Mm. So my gravy, essentially, milk, water, chicken stock, the chicken drippings from the legs, um, salt, pepper, onion powder, um, seven spice, a bit of Parmesan. Which, um, Whoa, 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 whoa. As the list went on, it was like getting weirder and weirder. That's that's not gravy. What is, what is she talking about? So she opened her kitchen pretty much and went like, okay, I'm going to put everything in here. And just started randomly throwing shit in. Yeah, seven spice in a fucking pot pie gravy? What the fuck is this? Of course that's not gravy. That's like uh, cleaning out the kitchen. What the... 
She has never made this before. She clearly did not follow a recipe, but she wants to open a restaurant, you guys. Rachel, hey, thank you for the super chat. I have a big male hand fetish. My husband's hands are bigger than my feet. I refuse to explain. Just here over sharing. Okay. Worcestershire sauce. And there's so much chicken and black pepper. Not that salty. Mm. There was already a huge chunk missing. That was um, my husband's. <laughs> well, that's not true. Again, we saw the chunk missing at the beginning. You could go back to the beginning and see. It looked like there had been two spoonfuls taken out of that pie. She started eating and then decided to start filming. Or it was so hot while she started eating it, but she couldn't like wait. You know what I mean? That she then had to wait and set up the fucking camera. Why would he take two spoonfuls of food? Come on, liar. If you want to give us a lie like that, cut a slice out of the pie. Eat the slice. Then start your video and be like, well, Salad just took his piece. It would have at least, like, still no one would believe you, but at least visually, it would look like somebody took a piece of the fucking pie and not you took two bites out of the fucking pie. Hey, girl, hey, thank you for the super chat. <laughs> Portion. Portion. She wants to go in with her trotters. Look, she's like, oh God, look at how she's like looking at that pie. She wants to face fuck that pie. <laughs> look at what her trotter just does. Oh my God. It was like a baby's hand going towards the pie and an imaginary mother's hand came and pulled that baby's hand away from the pie and went, no, you used your spoon. Lemons watch that again. What a freak. Portion. What the fuck is mentally wrong with this woman? What the fuck is that? <laughs> How psycho is that? Why would you do that? And then she looks into the camera right before she fantasizes about sticking a trotter into the pie. What the fuck? Oh my God. <laughs> What is that? She had to like deny her something like, no, no trotters in the pie. Who eats chicken pot pie with their fucking fingers? Oh, she's psycho. Now when I was, you know, I'm always used to eating those like Swanson TV dinners. You know the ones I'm talking about, the frozen ones that are like cardboard? They're pretty good, though. Well, which one is it? Are they like cardboard or are they pretty good, though? Mm. My new favorite thing is pickled cabbage. Um, And fuck a Swanson pie. Listen, if you're from here, you know it. I don't, I don't know if they have these in Ontario, but she's supposed to be French Canadian anyway. Of like Soro descent. You should know about uh, Mère Michel. You like those little pies? It's Mère Michel. They're the only ones. Fuck a Swanson pie. That's nasty. What's the matter with you? To her, cardboard is pretty whole, good. She eat it. Doesn't taste much different than the other one. Than regular white flour, and it has a lot more fiber and nutritional benefit. But this gravy is so creamy. Mm. Oh, 
It also has a bit of flour and butter for the roux. That's about it. Man, this So you used butter in the pie for the roux at least, but then refused to use a little butter in your crust to make it a crust worth eating. Would rather load it up with oil for no goddamn reason and call it um, flaky. Pixie, thank you for the super chat. That's right. Nothing says pot pie like cumin and nutmeg. Hi. My cat's just staring at me like, where do you begin? Whoops. Of course the cat's staring at you. The cat's staring at you because the cat sees what we all see. That looks like a gigantic plate of cat food. So give the cat the cat food. What are you, is the cat not going to beg for cat food? The cat's probably looking at her like, bitch, why are you eating the cat food? Evil Debbie, thank you for the super chat. This pot pie has green peen. Rem you know, it does look like something that that schmuck would pull out of the kitchen in uh, Lachine. It looks almost bad enough to be a cokey dish. I'm going to put it here. So I used to eat the Swanton's dinners. The Swanton uh, pot pies. They're like a dollar. They used to be like a dollar. Now with inflation, they're like two fifty or something. I'm not paying that. I'll just make my own pot pie. Mm. She put in like, what, 20 bucks worth of chicken and thighs. But yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> She's saving money on this equation. Not only saving money, but the little Swanson pot pie is a single serving. She now has made herself a pie big enough for 10 fucking people. Of course she's going to make herself a pie. <laughs> Soup not C, thank you for the super chat. Looks like a jar of tapeworms. Oh my God. The crust turned out so good. I'll never use another crust recipe. Why not? That crust looks disgusting. I'll never use another crust recipe. She's never made a crust before in her life. That's what it is. Why am I even? Of course, this is the first and last time she's made a crust. Hey, Del, thank you for the super chat. All this because salad won't stick his finger in her pie. Bloop. Mm. Never. I did so much walking today. My stamina is insane. I love it. <clears throat> Are you trying to convince salad of that? Because girl, it wouldn't make a difference. He's <laughs> you just took a sip of water, got winded, and told us how insane your stamina was while out of breath trying to get pie into your face. You were winded while telling us about your great stamina. Yep. Who gets winded taking sips of drinks? What's the matter with you? Oh my God, the delusion. It's a, it's, this is for salad. Salad, salad, we can fuck now. I have stamina, salad. And he's still like, no, thank you. No. <laughs> Rachel, thank you for the super chat. The more you do, the more you can. 100% true. Hmm. I think I'll have to freeze some. I know my camera's not on and you can't see me right now, but you can imagine the face that I'm making right now, right? And the slow blinks. Blink. Blink, 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 blink. Freeze some! Freeze some! Bitch, there won't be any in the fridge tomorrow. What are you freezing some? What is there to freeze? Look at how much you've already eaten. What are you freezing? The empty pie tin? Or... Just eat it like over the next few days. Mm. She's almost eaten half of the pie. It's almost half eaten in um 
eight minutes. Eight fucking minutes. She's eaten half of a family pot pie. But yeah, no, she's going to have to freeze some. There's just no way she'd be able to get through it. She's going to eat this whole pie tonight. I'm sure it won't all be on this video because, you know, the performance of, um, guys, I'm just using moderation, guys. This is definitely a pot pie binge, guys. She will end the video and then fuck up the rest of the pie. That pie is not like going to be around by the time the sun comes up the next morning. She smashed that. She she She's doing the, the nasty things to that pie that her husband won't do to her. Ted Bestwell, thank you for the super chat. The way she reaches for the pie like a polar bear. <laughs> There's no bottom crust. It's just top and the vegetables. Okay, to be fair, at the beginning of this react, I will correct myself. I said, what do you need a double crust for? Betis, you don't. Fine, it's a one crust. It's better than a two crust. I will give her that. But hear, hear me out. What if you made no crust? What if you made a crustless uh, chicken pot pie? There's still hell of like butter in the roux and cream in your sauce and stuff. It's not like it would be low calorie. You, Betis, do not need that crust or all that oil or all that flour. No. The cat lady. Thank you for the super chat. Uh oh. Oh, you'll be on the list now, girl. Welcome to the list. Some chicken on the bottom. That's it. <sighs> it's so good. I wanted to film it, but we got home later than I thought. It was pretty much already dinner time by the time we got home, and I still had to like make everything from scratch. But first, I had to clean the kitchen, clean the dishes from the last time I cooked my, my previous meal. And I just did everything super fast. Wow. The martyr. Look, she wants ass pats for that, too. Uh, so she was driven around by her jobless, useless fake husband to do a video, which was so much work, you guys, and then gets home late after doing fuck all pretty much all day and has to make everything from scratch. Oh, okay. And start by washing the dishes from the last time she cooked, which was God only knows how many days ago. See, lesson to be learned there, Chantal. That's why you would clean up the dishes like when you're done cooking last time <laughs> and not save them for the next time you need the kitchen. That would have been one step already taken care of. But everything you're describing about just being out all day and then coming home and having to cook is just what every single person does every day. You know what I mean? I shouldn't say every single person, but very common adult experience to wake up early in the morning, leave the house, go to work all day. And I mean, actual work all day, not driving around, drinking coffees in a car with your bot bitch fake husband while you film a video out the window and stuff. I mean, an actual day's work. And then come home, take care of a, ha a house, cook whatever needs to be cooked, clean things that need to be cooked. Girl, that's a daily fucking thing. You did it once and uh, you're sitting there like some fucking martyr, Mother Teresa coming home to do everything. Like, yeah, welcome to adulthood. It sucks, doesn't it? Chantal's flaccid foreskin clothing line. Thank you for the super chat. Just came in to say salad likes cabbage farts. Oh, uh, he probably does. I still don't think he'd like hers. Okay, I'm let, fair, unless I am misunderstanding this whole thing. And he's just into the farts. In which way, yeah, maybe she's trying to spice them up to his preference. If I filmed it, I would have had to get dressed. Like, I mean, I would have had to stay dressed. <laughs> That's not true. You just could have filmed a video that didn't show your head or face. Nothing wrong with that. Then you wouldn't have to put on any of it. I don't know about this pie. I don't know. It's sus that she didn't film any. And look how sandy that is. That oh, that crust looks disgusting. And the whole thing looks like it didn't cook long enough. It's saggy. I could eat the whole jar, but I'm not going to. <laughs> Self-restraint. Not something I'm very familiar with, but... 
I gotta learn. All right, BB, yeah. All right, let's see this crispy crust here. Huge chunks of chicken, yeah. Mm. God, this is it's a texture thing because yeah, crispy crust my ass. Mushy everything is just grossing me the fuck out. She'll never stop saying BB Gal. She knows it pisses everyone off, so she'll keep it going forever. Angel of Temptation, thank you for the super chat. Absolutely. <laughs> like as if we didn't already know. But yeah, it, it was the weird, like internal battle. You watched her fighting her own brain to stick her trotter in the pie. Jessica, thank you for the super chat. If she ever opened a restaurant, Gordon Ramsay and Kitchen Nightmares would have a veal day. <laughs> oh, yeah, they would. But fuck Gordon Ramsay. You know what? I could do a whole sidebar about Gordon Ramsay. Fuck him. Fucking overhyped uh, schmuck. He took over a restaurant here in Montreal. He bought this restaurant, Laurier Barbecue. It's already closed. That place had been here forever. It was like a real institution in the city. He fucked that place up so bad in such a short period of time. Fuck off, Gordon Ramsay. So flaky. Mm. Mm. Fortunately, well, you're probably thinking, no, it's not a good thing. <laughs> I'm a fat girl who can cook when I want to. What does being fat have to do with any of it? Nothing, but you really can't cook. I'm sorry. I have yet to see anything that this woman can cook. I don't consider this cooking. This is disgusting. This looks like the crap I used to come up with when I was like, like experiments in the kitchen. That crust makes me just, bleh, uh, and and the meat poops. When I think of Chantal cooking, I will never not think of the meat poops. She is the meatloaf lady to me. Okay, that is, it always looks really, really bad. You cannot cook. Soulless, thank you for the super chat. There is no doubt in my mind that afterward, all that pot slop and pickled cabbage she blew. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Probably. Probably. And I also think she definitely finished the pie, finished the cabbage, and then was like, Sally, <laughs> you want to watch a Jim Carrey movie? Ew. Fucking nasty. Pasty and dry. Yes, absolutely. It's a box crust. Oh. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense for two reasons. It looks bad. And why she can show us making the pie. Ooh, that makes sense. All right. Cayenne Berry, thank you for the super chat. Dump four cups of flour into the soup to chew that too. Oy, 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 oy. Pete's always used to tell her the food she cooked didn't have much flavor. Or he would say, yeah, it's all right. That's interesting. Pete's saying it has no flavor because Pete's likes everything so goddamn bland. Yikes. We can thank you for the super chat. Hey, girl, sick today. Boyfriend in the kitchen making me a grilled cheese. That's so nice. What a nice boyfriend you have. Enjoy it. I hope you're feeling better soon. Ow. Oh, my God. Empty frozen pie tin. Ah! Thank you for the super chat. See you soon, girls. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Hot. So yeah, so much chicken. I put a lot of gravy, a lot of chicken. None of that skimping over here. New, new, new. Such a big spoon of food. Holy crap. 
It's also like, not only, okay, she's eaten half of a fucking family size pot pie. Okay, we established. Why do the bites have to be so big? Is that a thing for feeders? Because I remember back in the day um, on her old like mukbang videos, she would often put that in the title or on the thumbnail, like big bites. Is that a feeder thing? Or is that like a, a mukbang community thing? Because I, 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 I find it really gross. She doesn't even have a lot of teeth. Why would you be taking so many bites when you can barely chew it and you don't chew? I don't, I don't. It's a feeder thing. Uh, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Because that was just the biggest spoonful of food. Come on. Luna, thank you for the super chat. What do you think his favorite smell of farts is? Dino nuggies. Okay, one more bite. Oh. This huge piece of chicken. And a little bit of the side crust. Oh, it's hot. Oh, ah. it's like a whole thigh. <laughs> it's so good. It's like half gone, I know. Well, a big chunk of it was gone because of... No, no, a big chunk of it, two spoons was gone, and don't blame him. That was you tasting it before your fat ass could bring it from the kitchen to the living room. MK Management, thank you for the super chat. Only thing missing is that jumbo pot pie is a toilet seat. Maybe she's got one of those camping toilets. For all we know, she might be sitting not on a chair, but on a camping toilet with no pants on. Hmm? Like, so long, like I said. But I did eat a lot of it. <laughs> I like purposely. Sorry, someone messaged me. I purposely like starved all day almost so that I could eat this. <laughs> what did I eat today? I had a tuna fish sandwich. Oh, so you didn't starve. You ate a fucking tuna fish sandwich and we saw your last tuna fish sandwich that took two cans of tuna to make. So you ate two cans of tuna and a shit ton of mayo on bread already today. But yes, you totally starved. Totally starved to eat that Popeye. Girl, stop it. Fattest thing. Fattest thing. We were just saying, they always have to say it's my first meal of the day. Even if they've taken out half of the ocean's worth of tuna. Shelly, thank you for the super chat. Which? My first thing. Then where we went, I had, I shared a tiny size mango gelato with my husband. Okay. So on top of the two cans of tuna sandwich, we've eaten a large mango gelato alone. No sharing. Got it. Uh, I had like a few bites and then I had, that's it. This is the next meal I had. Mm. But that's not totally nothing. You've eaten hella food all day. And look, the sun's still out. It's not even like it's night or late or anything. Uh, and now you're eating an entire pot pie. What the hell? She th really thinks that's starving. She starved herself all day, y'all. Nee Marie, wifey number three, thank you for the super chat. Hi, wifey, I'm here again at work jiggling my mouse. Keep jiggling it, girl. Get j Jiggle, and if anyone passes you by... <sighs> Loud exhale. It's like, oh my God, she's so busy. She, she's so busy, busy, busy. She's stressed. I'm just going to leave her alone and walk away. <laughs> okay, this is the last bite. <laughs> I'm still hungry. No, you're not. I know people think I'm trolling or I'm not serious. I am very serious. I literally walked for like probably a good three to four hours today. And why do you keep lying? I know I, I sound like a broken fucking record now. Three years. Why do you keep lying? Why are you always lying? Why are you always lying? Why are you always lying? But like your lies don't affect us. Okay. This sick calculation of lying about how much you walked and now lying about how much you eat. It only affects you. 
We don't care. That pie isn't sitting on my ass. Do you understand? It's on yours. Your lies about moving around and your lies about food and stuff have zero effect on the audience. Save your fucking lies for yourself. Go and stand in a mirror, do all these lies and try to convince yourself that you've done something for yourself today. Okay. Um, I don't even want to know how much walking it would take to walk over the amount of the pot pie that you've eaten today and everything else you've eaten today. You did not walk for three hours. Stop it, Chantal. We know you. We've been watching you. We hear you get out of breath, taking sips of water and eating your pot pie. Okay. It's enough now. This bullshit. Keep the lies somewhat believable. Even if we're not going to believe them, they have to be within the realm of possibility. You walking three hours is the lie equivalent of me coming live and being like, hey guys, sorry we weren't live yesterday. I went to the fucking moon. And I barely sat down. Um, I just like, from I don't know if it's from walking so much or just not eating a lot of junk food. I, my stamina to walk is like, I don't even feel any pain. It's crazy. Absolutely full of shit. The last uh, videos that we had seen her walking at that empty mall in the front with those palm trees and stuff, all she could do was complain about her back. Then she went live after that video complaining about her back. Now she's got all the stamina in the world and no pain at all. Is he cheating again or something? Uh, did somebody make a comment? Someone like, like was stamina mentioned that this, this is all for him. So why are you now trying to convince him of your stamina girl? He's not going to fuck you. Okay. Stop it. Granny on the loose. Thank you for the super chat. Mm. Oh, that was good. Okay, now I'm starting to feel it. <laughs> feel full. But you guys were right when I asked you about like the, um, if chicken thighs would be good in this. And those of you who said it's better, it's so good with the chicken thighs. And the crust is so brown because of the whole wheat, but the whole wheat flour, it adds like an extra bite to it. It adds like a, another layer of flavor to the crust. I put some egg wash on it. Oh my God, it's that ugly and there's egg wash on it. There's no color to that crust at all. And there's egg wash on it. She is just so bad at cooking. No matter what. I don't think she put egg wash. She probably wanted to, but then she lazied out and she's like, nah, fuck it. Katie, thank you for the super chat. I make my dog homemade food and it is far superior to the slop. 100% agree with you, girl. Same. Ugh. I'm not saying my dog wouldn't eat this, but I'm sure it would give him diarrhea for days. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. No, 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 no. No shine from egg wash. She didn't do it. That's what I'm saying. No, there's not that glossy look at the end and how it bakes up nice and, you know, like that that golden brown finish it gets. She's got some raised edges there. Uh, the the lip of the the pie tin or whatever. I keep calling it a pie tin because I don't know. I know it's not a tin, but it's a pie dish. Okay. There are some edges raised up. That if there had been egg wash put on it, those edges would be nice and browned and they're not, you know what I mean? No, it does look gritty. Bip bop. Exactly. It looks like a gritty crust. Alicia, thank you for the super chat. My chef's heart is crying. That looks like a frozen crust. Maybe that's what it is. eh? I'm sure she used canned food. That's what I'm thinking too. I think she had those chicken thighs. She cooked them up and then she opened a couple of cans of like, I don't even know, pot pie filling, a la king filling, something like that, and dumped it in. Yeah. Casserole dish, not a pie dish? Oh, fuck. That is some fat fuck. Okay. She makes a pie in a casserole dish and eats the whole goddamn thing herself. Desiree, thank you for the super chat. Fingers crossed to get approved for the rescue pup I applied for today. I'll name her friend. Oh, God. I mean, that's cute. I, listen, don't feel pressure to name her Frenchie for me. Pick a name that you want to say for the next, you know, inshallah, 17 to 27,000 years. I don't know. But uh, congratulations. We will keep our fingers crossed. No D for you, heifer. That's why. She's got no dick, so she's got to eat pie. <laughs> got to stuff those holes somehow. And this is the only one she's in control of and can actually reach. 
to take care of on her own. Basement baby. Thank you for the super chat. Got an interview. Ooh, a job interview on Teams tomorrow. Good luck, basement baby. You got this. Yeah, it's very flaky. I love it. Perfect. I'm so, so happy it turned out well. <laughs> so I'm going to go uh, put this divided up into containers and I can find the lids and put it away for tomorrow's lunch or whatever dinner. I don't know. Anyway. The way she trails off, the way she looks away, the way she's like, tomorrow's lunch or dinner, I don't know. She knows damn right that thing's not hitting any Tupperwares. Stop it. You're not putting it into containers. You're about to end this video and keep putting that pie into your mouth. Hey, girl. Hey, thank you for the super chat. Most would eat a scoop. She's at half, half a fucking pie. It's, that's a big fucking pie, too. Okay, casserole size pie. Damn, she's tired. She needs a little break. A little, I, I, listen, <laughs> I've been there. Oh, fuck. You ever have, well, you guys aren't smokers, but some, I call it an intermish. Sometimes it's like too much. I need to walk away from it and have a little smoke break and come back. Intermish. She's about to intermish on an entire fucking chicken pot pie. She'll be back. Tony D, thank you so much for the super chat. Got a bonus today. Have some get well soon cash. Thank you so much. Congratulations on your bonus. I was very hungry. Actually, now I can, yeah, I need to slow down because it catches up with you. I'm going to sleep so good tonight. I'm going to have a hot shower and then just get into like comfy PJs and relax. And She was going to say, I'm going to have a hot chocolate <laughs> shower my ass. I'm going to finish watching Cape Fear. I started watching Cape Fear. That is such a messed up movie. Like, I couldn't get over how good of an actress Juliette Lewis is. I was like, wow, she's a really good actress. She's always been a good actress. Anyway, all right, guys. Well, thanks for um, having dinner with me and um, seeing my pot pie. I'm very proud of it because pot pie is something I always dreamed of making. You know, I always crave it. It's one of those foods I crave regularly. So there, she just admitted that's the first time she's ever made a chicken pot pie. It's one of those foods I've always dreamed of making. But then earlier in the video, she's like, oh, I'm never going to use a different crust. Like, this is the only crust. I'm only going to use this crust recipe. Implying she's made chicken pot pie a bunch of times. And this is just the best recipe she, for crust she's come across. She's always dreamed of making a chicken pot pie. Can you imagine having such low aspirations that a 40-year-old woman's biggest dream is to make a chicken pot pie? And now that I can make it, I'd say it's fairly easy. Once you get the hang of it. The problem is my eyes tell me that you have not gotten the hang of it. That is a monstrosity, Chantal. Do better next time and make your own crust. And not with oil. That's disgusting. Ugh. Listen, you eat shit daily. You eat shit all day. Put a little fucking butter in your crust. Huh? Let's stop it. You know what the vibe of not putting the butter in that crust? It's giving when Amber Lynn, 500 plus pounds, refused to fry vegetables in oil. You know, every time she'd be prepping to make one of her fucking chili soups or whatever, she would fry everything in, in water. Put a little fucking oil in the pan. Put a little fucking butter in your crust. Uh, you can cut some of the other shit you eat and have a proper fucking crust. This is just infuriating. Yes, the water fry used to kill me. Kill me. Gonna smell like ham. Thank you for the super chat. Looks like she's eating from a cat litter box. Ew. These are her dreams. Yes. Yes, they are. Yes, she would fry in water. It was so gross and I would laugh. It would make me laugh every fucking time. 500 and something pounds. And she thought the tiny little bit of oil you would use, let's say, to fry. No, and I don't mean deep fry. I mean like she's making chili. She wants to pre-cook the ingredients a little bit. That was going to make or break the weight, you know? <laughs> Basement baby, thank you for the super chat. My Nona has dementia from Betis. And cooks better. I don't doubt that for a heartbeat. Oh, man. I'm sure she does. 
Didn't she buy whole wheat flour to be healthy? I, she probably did. That sounds like a Chantal move. Yes. <laughs> she always wondered why it never went brown. Uh! Uh! Salad tolerance, foodie beauty, because she smells like poo poo. <laughs> Great name. Thank you for the super chat. Finally got off work when you're live. So now you can see my new name. I love it. Thank you for being here. And thank you for participating in the name changes. Y'all, they always make me laugh. <laughs> Frying in water is boiling. Exactly. Too much pie on my hands. Uh, zinc's, uh, zinc, wait, zinc a cat. Thank you for the super chat. My first live stream with you is on my 36th birthday. Happy birthday. That's awesome. Oh, I hope you had a great birthday so far. Thank you for spending a little bit of it here with us. 36 is such a good year. Enjoy it. Oh, ice poop Canadian beach. Thank you for the super chat. That pie dish looks like the one that Just the Bells 10 uses. Ah, that's a great point. And she ate half of it by herself. Yes, that's a great point. Just the bells. Ten. Ten. Eat that pie. Chantal gonna eat that pie alone. Hell yeah. Into the void says, tastes like cardboard, but pretty good though. If that's not the most Chantal sentence of all time, just perfect. Ham salad. Thank you for the super chat. That is an enormous serving spoon. What the fuck? Yes. Yes, it is. And it's Chantal. And yes, it is. <laughs> All right. Get out. Get out of here. Get out of here, Chantal. Next, Chantal. <laughs> Canadian road trips to Iraq border. Let me get the tab. You guys, I have an amazing surprise for you guys. That's the Iraq border. We're going to Iraq. Yalla. Just kidding. We're going to Elbow Higher Farms. All right. What the fuck was that? Why would you clickbait about going to Iraq? And why do you say Iraq? Why does that bother me so much? No offense, listen, I know a lot of people in the state say Iraq. I'm not judging, okay? Who I'm judging is Chantal from... Uh, <laughs> listen, Eastern Ontario, okay, sounds like Quebec. Except for their sorry, not sorry. Like, there's certain things that are different, right? People in Eastern fucking Ontario aren't saying Iraq and Iran. That is like you're forcing it. Why would you force that? I, I don't understand. Iraq, Iran, what's wrong with you? Everybody from where Chantal comes from, where, you know what I mean? Nobody says Iraq and Iran. Why does she force that? I don't understand. You're there. You're in the Middle East. You're at the fucking border. And it's like, you're trying to sound as like, American as possible. Why do you go out of your way to sound like, I want to say wrong, okay? I'm sorry, not sorry, but it is what it is. All right. So while we're not going to Iraq today, we are visiting an area of Kuwait called Abdali Farms area. More specifically, the Al Bouhaira Farms, which is literally minutes from the Iraq border. The right. Yeah, that's true. Does she say Italian? You know what I mean? It's just so stupid. Listen, countries are meant to be. Countries are like names. In my opinion, countries are supposed to be said in the way that that country says their country name. Does that, does that make sense? Is that fair? I don't know if I explained that right. But nobody... Okay. <laughs> if you speak Arabic, how do you say Iraq? They don't say Iraq. It's Iraq. Okay? 
So why are you going out of your way to say something or sound incorrect? I don't understand. You're fucking there, man. You're you're cosplaying in other people's fucking religions and cultures and shit. Then why go out of your way to sound so goddamn ignorant? I don't get it. I there was mostly desert. I love long road trips. A lot of the farms in Kuwait have activity. FFG, how do you say Mexico then? Mexico. <laughs> Next. Activities for families and things that you can do. If all else fails, just walking around in open fresh air is always nice. I'm eating my first meal of the day, a tuna on whole bran bread. The Taco Bell I ate yesterday made me pretty sick. So I'm trying to eat healthy and not eat out for today. So I'm going to eat my homemade sandwich. We are now entering the Abdali Farms area. There's a whole bunch of farms here on the way on the left and right. And we are going to Al Bojara Farms, like I said, which is just a few minutes up the road here. And finally, we arrive at the farm that we are going to. I'm sorry, it's just now clicking in my head. We're going to a farm... Did, is it an actual farm? Okay, uh, I know most of y'all have seen the video. Is this going to be one where we're not going to want to see the treatment of the animals? Is this a farm just being called a farm so that we don't all flip out and be like, not more zoo content? Is that what's going on here? Did she clickbait this multiple ways? I don't like this. Uh, <laughs> kind of? Oh, fuck. All right, we're going to start this. We may have to skip ahead. Fuck it. Oh, look. No, there's actual shit growing. It's a farm. Okay. Hi, guys. Welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be walking around this huge farm here called the Al Bohaira Farms in Abdali, which is near the Iraq border. It's about an hour and a half away from where we reside in Kuwait. And there's lots to see here. It's a huge farm, so I'm going to get a lot of exercise in. And I can't wait. It's a beautiful day. Beautiful weather. 16 degrees Celsius. I love it. Yalla, let's go. 16 degrees Celsius. It's like a dream for her. Wow. I have a question. This must be another weekday because we are in the week, right? Is this guy not supposed to have a job? She's still always telling us he's got a job. How is he available lately every single day to drive her to random places for her videos? Huh? An hour and a half drive away on a weekday? Who's got time for all of that on a work day? I suppose people who don't have jobs could be. Angel of Temptation, thank you for the super chat. Yes. Yes. You're right. Imagine clickbaiting going to Iraq. That's so weird. She is his job? Mm, Allegra, that does make sense. Medina, Jaden, thank you for the super chat. Foodie Beauty uses a toilet brush to reach her bean. Oh, gross. Here we have some kale fields, all kinds. Curly, the other kind. I don't know what it's called. We have some broccoli here on this side. We have some beetroot. She almost didn't fit in there. Did you hear me? I sort of whispered that because I don't want to say it too loud. She almost didn't fit into the phone booth. Imagine if she got stuck on the inside of the phone booth. <laughs> it's like Doctor Who. We have some chamomile here. We have a cabbage field here. I wonder if there's any Cabbage Patch Kids in here. <laughs> Mm. 
It's windy today and bright. <laughs> Okay, yes, I, I thought she said that weird, too. But to be fair, I have heard people say chamomile. I says chamomile, but chamomile, I've heard that before. It did make my eye twitch, too. Rachel, thank you for the super chat. First time seeing broccoli in the wild. <laughs> She's like, oh, no, is it going to jump up and bite me? <laughs> She's trying to feed it little pellets like you do at a petting zoo. <laughs> She looks around, puts her hands on her hips, or where the hips on the gut would be, and looks around and goes, so this is where vegetables come from. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry for the quick pause, but wait, 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 wait. Have a sue, mom. She seriously doesn't bend her legs while walking. You're right. She doesn't. I have figured out why. It's the kicking of the gut thing. Every step forward she takes, her leg has to like lift her stomach to move forward. So the more kind of straight she keeps her legs without bending, the less she actually has to hoist the stomach with every step. It sounds like a hater ass bitch comment. That wasn't even a hater ass bitch. I literally think that's why she walks like that. I'm seriously <laughs> serious about this. It's the stomach, that second gut thing. It it gets in the way of the leg swing. So keep the legs as straight as possible. In theory, you're lifting that, hoisting that thing a lot less with every step. That is the saddest fucking thing I've ever heard. Graveyard Flowers, thank you for the super chat. Why are we ragging on her going to a farm? She's more at home than ever. True that. Windmill. I don't know what this is, but I hope it's not poisonous. I like jogging. What is going on? Whoa. <laughs> what the fuck did I just watch? You know we're going back. I feel like I just had a stroke. What? What is this? I like talking. I love how she's muted her audio the entire time she's doing this. So, of course, we don't hear the huffing and the puffing. And she turns the audio on just long enough to go, I like jogging. Oh, no. Good for you. Jog away. But my God, it looks like she might face plant because she is not bending those legs. You got to bend your legs to jog. Kick the gut. Kick the gut if you need to, girl. But you got to bend your leg. Oh, my God. She's going to topple forward. Slow motion. Okay, I feel bad doing that. That's usually Yabba's thing. Yabba, forgive me. We have to slow this one down. It's too funny not to. Let's watch her on half speed. Oh, my God. But good for her still. I like jogging. Oh my God, right there. It looks like she's going to fall, but she doesn't fall. Holy moly, what did we just watch? I want to say I'm, I'm, I'm in shock, to be totally honest. I did not think she could even do that. Okay, she jogged like 40 feet. Fine. Did, did you think she could jog like that 40 feet? I certainly did not. Replay again. Let's watch it one more time in regular speed. What the? I'm surprised. 
I'm glad she didn't fall. I thought she was going to fall. She runs like a child. I, I did not know she was capable of doing this. It's not impressive. Let me be impressed. I swear, I never thought she could do this. I like jogging. Yeah, I don't care. Y'all are hater ass bitches. If you're not impressed by that, for real, for real, you just don't want to be impressed because it's Chantal. And I get that. Listen, we're all hater ass bitches here. No judgment, okay? But fuck credit where credit is due. I never thought she could do that. Um, I doubt she'll ever do it again. But fuck, good, good on her. You see, when she acts all like completely helpless, she can't do this, she can't do that. If you force yourself, it's amazing the things you can do. I don't think she thought that she could do what she just did. I like trains. <laughs> that's that's wild for her. Wow. Her knees are not impressed. Okay, flying spaghetti monster. That's definitely fair. Her knees are fucking screaming right now. Pixie, thank you for the super chat. Whoa! <laughs> I wonder if I could rent a bicycle. Okay, now you're just talking crazy. Don't rent a bicycle. You're going to break someone else's bicycle? Probably not. Well, that two seconds of jogging really did me in. <laughs> oh, it's a raccoon. It's a beezer raccoon. <laughs> There's also a lot of bouncy castles here for kids. Why would they be wasting the money to inflate that when there's not one person in there? Like, let them just fucking collapse until, you know, there's an actual child in the park and then maybe blow them up. Just saying. Or did they think Chantal was going to want to go in there? Oh, Salad was going to go in there. Okay, that makes sense. Adrian, thank you for the super chat. I don't know what the hell that is sticking out there. I really don't. I, I I would not call it a mini skirt, but it's something. She sounds seconds away from passing out. Yes, she does. Definitely. Yeah, go on, Chantal. Why do you want her to break all the things in that place? <laughs> Little bouncy house. Rabbit, rabbit sugar. Thank you for the super chat. The reason it's easy for her to exercise in a farm is because she's trying to away from the vegetables. Oh no, that broccoli's gonna come and get me. For real. Those fupa balls must be flapping like hell. Oh God. Flapping and chafing. Ugh. Raven Nevermore, thank you for the super chat. Without the Abaya in the way, it's really clear how much she walks like a literal toddler. Yes. It's that weird unbending of the leg. And now I, I get it. Okay. It's the kicking of the stomach, but it's, it looks hella weird. <laughs> corn oh horsey oh my god there's a little pony hi hi oh you're so cute yes <laughs> Skipping past the animal content. I like how a grown ass woman sees a horse and goes, horsey. Yes, <laughs> but corn, horsey. It's like a little kid. I don't know the stages of child development, okay? But a kid at the point of like identifying objects, corn, horsey. What are you, five? No, it would be younger than five. What do I say? What are you, three? It's so nice out, and I'm actually, like, so happy I have the stamina to walk as far as I want. <laughs> it's an amazing feeling. I'm walking. Yes, indeed, I'm walking. Huge sunflower. What the fuck was that? <laughs> what? 
Some little horror edit? What was that? Oh, my God. Cherry Blossom Mocha, thank you for the super chat. Huge sunflower. Oh, my God. Oh. You can take a tram, sure, but you can also walk. Ah, junk food. Not gonna lie, that looks so good. <laughs> so there's many different things you can do here. Little attractions, the general admission is free. You have to pay for the little attractions. Ah, so that's why we went there and also why we've gone to no little attractions. We go for the free entry. Not to pay money. <laughs> what the fuck? Ted Bestwell, thank you for the super chat. It's not a stomach. It's a pork apron. Ew. You know, renting a bike, stuff like that. But I'm just here for the exercise. And uh, I'm going somewhere different. I like taking road trips. So, yeah. <laughs> just getting some walking in. On this beautiful day. I like going on road trips. And my brain immediately went, why are they wasting all that money on gas? And then I remembered, oh, wait, we're in Kuwait. We waste no money on gas. Gas is like almost given away for free. So uh, almost free gas in a car that I believe he's being paid or lent to promote as he drives around for free in it. They go for the free entry and refuse, refuse to pay for anything at the location to like support the location. But they will go walking around in these places for free all day, as long as it's free. What a schmuck. You don't even buy a drink. You don't even, uh, I don't know, anything in the place? Nothing? Nothing at all? What the fuck? Let him rent the bike just to support a little bit. Nope. Freebies only. But we're totally, totally not broke, you guys. And he totally has a job, you guys. Look at my body. Thank you for the super chat. Is it dangerous of running at that weight? Her knees and ankle. Oof. Oof. Okay, and the, no, I'm not. If she like busts an ankle or a knee or something, and they're all up in the court, how the fuck is he gonna get her to the car? Oh no! I will say that no more cheat days or cheat meals for a while, inshallah, because I was so sick all night. Not Taco Bell, not worth it. <laughs> That's why I had to. That's so interesting. No more cheat days. So we understand by what she just said about the Taco Bell and the fact that she's wearing the same outfit she was just wearing to eat the pie, that this video was filmed the day of the pie. I would go, I would say, right? They went out to this stupid farm thing. They go home. She makes an, a whole ass chicken and pot pie and eats it alone for dinner. But yeah, no more cheat days. But that's why she felt entitled to eat a chicken pot pie for dinner because she ran a few steps sandwich today homemade <laughs> Pixie, thank you for the super chat still walking we did a whole tour Is this going to be the whole video? We're now going into the nursery. Look at all the aloe vera. You can purchase plants here. So we're not going to purchase anything. Oh, no, 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 no. But you can, in theory, purchase something. Get a fucking plant. Pick one random plant, buy a plant. What is wrong with these two? I would be mortified. I'm not that bitch. You can't, you can't go somewhere like this. And all, it's it's so much worse too because they're the only people there. You're going to go and spend all this time in a place and not not nothing? Not spend a, a dime? I would be too embarrassed too. I would buy something. Soulless, thank you for the super chat. This I, Did you notice just now as she was walking, she grabbed her back. Yeah, I'm sure that's not for nothing.
<laughs> Luna, thank you for the super chat. She really does. And she's always calling me an egg on legs, which is, you know, true. I mean, it, yeah, egg on legs. Yeah. Yeah, it's not wrong, but I mean, girl, come on. If I'm an egg on legs, you're like a, you know, one of those big ass potatoes for like make like a baked potato out of. She's a baked potato on toothpicks. We have cacti or cactuses, cactus. <laughs> Agave. More. More. What? Chubby cactus. I don't know if that's a species, but I just named it. Chubby cactus. See? Chubby cactus. Oh, they're expensive, the chubby cactus. Petunia! I used to have a hamster called Petunia. This should kick them out of this place, I swear. She's a bad tour guide. Yeah, more. <laughs> she just points over and goes, no, more. Chubby cactus? I'm not calling her chubby cactus. I'm not calling her chubby anything. Barrel cactus? Yes, I can get behind that one for sure. Chuck and his ducks. Thank you for the super chat. So relaxing and zen in here. Love it. Strawberry fields forever. And we have some Swiss chard. Very nice looking Swiss chard. Who knows how to make greens like a pro? Comment below. Here we have a market where you can buy some fruits and veg. Yeah, don't buy any. You have a freaking fridge full at home that you're about to throw out. Yes, no puffer at all. No puffer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mandy, thank you for the super chat. Oh, yeah, what happened with the hamsters? <laughs> Something tells me we don't want to know. Applebee's. Bees. Gonna get the smallest size I have gelato mango. <laughs> okay, so they bought something. Wow, they bought something they contributed. They okay, of course, it had to be food. God forbid it's a plant or something you actually like take out of there. No, no. Food. Okay. But she bought something. Raven Nevermore, thank you for the super chat. That's it. Thank you. So, smallest serving they have. You said that two times. Not bad to have a little treat. And um, it's got chunks of fresh mango in it. Mm. Not bad to have a little treat. You're not a dog, first of all. Uh, not bad to treat yourself, but you treat yourself every single day. Every day. Is it even a treat if you never deny yourself a treat? I don't think so. It's just, you know, a Thursday. That's like sherbet. Yum. Wow. Not too sweet. So I know you're probably thinking you're on a health journey. But realistically, it's okay to have little treats like this once in a while as part of your diet. I'm out here doing a lot of walking. The rest of my... Oh, God. Stop trying to... She's not even convincing us this is being said for salad. She's trying to convince him. I just did all this walking, blah, 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 or in this treat, blah, blah, blah. And you can tell that it's him filming again because of the shady angles. 
Why would you film her like that sitting down from the side? You know what you're doing, Salad. We know what you're doing, Salad. My diet so far today has been well, and I'm also sharing this with my husband. So, yeah, <laughs> but it's really good. Damn. He's like shifting the camera around to, come on. You can't tell me he's not doing that on purpose. Look at the way he just moved the camera around and shit. Oh my shady fucking cameraman strikes again. <laughs> so um, I just wanted to say like the little changes that I'm trying to make, for example, like packing my own healthy lunch, the sandwich instead of, I could have got like before I would have gotten like a large soda, French fries, burger, you know, and then like a larger ice cream. So it's little things like that, just cutting down sometimes even makes a difference. Like it really does. There's your PSA for today. Rosemary water, basil water, lemongrass. Different dairy products here. Teas. Ooh, pickled things. <laughs> Everything else she just points at and keeps going. Ooh, pickled things. That was in depth. She's up there reading all the jars. Fucking hell. <sighs> Mortifying. He's wasting people's time. You're not going to buy shit. Leave. Jessica, thank you for the super chat. Twins. This is so dry. Fresh ghee. Looks really good. We have some dates. Stop touching everything! I don't know what flowers they are. It smells amazing. I cannot stand people who do these like, uh, well, okay, videos, whatever, whatever, whatever videos, okay? And they go around touching everything. I can't fucking stand it. It gets so deeply on my nerves. You're not going to buy anything. Don't touch things. Bad enough you're walking around just pointing at random things. Stop touching everything. Oh, my God. There's this channel I watch. You know, I, li I like watching these, like, Alaska living people, and they go to Costco and stuff. I love this woman, okay? Until she goes to Costco, I want to rip my eyeballs out. She touches every goddamn thing. It drives me insane. There's even a Pizza Hut, Applebee's, Subway. There's a Burger King and a Taco Bell, which I'll never eat at again. Sorry, but food poisoning. Food poisoning from Taco Bell? You? What does that mean? You fucked around with your husband last night? Is that some kind of signal? <laughs> Addicted to cold brew. Thank you for the super chat. <laughs> so here we have some kind of lake. It's closed off right now, but with a floating dock. There's a trap here, guys. I gotta make it quick across. We have some carrots, which by the way, I'm gonna be making a delicious soup that has carrots. So stay tuned. What's your favorite vegetable guys? Comment below. Mine is probably broccoli. Stop it, it's potatoes and we all know it. Broccoli. You only like broccoli when it's slathered in cheese. At that point, it's just the vessel to get the cheese into your gullet. Can you really say you like broccoli anymore at that point? Rachel, thank you for the super chat. She would pick the one plant poisonous to cats. Absolutely right. A big wheel. 
the wheel in the sky keeps on turning. More kale. All right, guys, time to end the video. Thank you for walking around the Al Bohaira Farms with us, and I hope you enjoyed. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, I'll only speak for myself on that one. I did not enjoy. No, that was awful. And I feel bad for the people working specifically everywhere. She went walking around in the little market and stuff. Because when an actual customer comes in, they got to stop whatever they were doing and, you know, be ready to attend to them. So these two assholes just waste their time walking around, touching everything. No intention of buying anything. No, no, no. We're here for our free outing of the day. Get out of here. Like, for real. And I'm sure everyone at the farm was also like, get out of here. More kale ends video. She's like, fuck this kale farm. Miss Movie Buff, thank you for the super chat. That shirt is the new yellow dress. Oh, no. Oh, no. You're probably right. Oh, where are the people? It's so creepy, right? I swear to God, you would think they live in a country all alone. Population of Kuwait, too, apparently, because that's all we've ever seen insane. Chantal's kicked pork apron. No. Thank you for the super sticker. I appreciate it. <laughs> I've seen her eat broccoli in her huge Chinese takeout meals. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Kalari, thank you for the super chat. A barrel on stumps is what I see. Fair. Definitely fair. Mm. All right, y'all. Those are the videos that she has put out. There was a live stream also. Eat lunch with me. Well, let's watch that one until we're bored and we can leave. Hold on. Let me get the tab. Do, 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 do. Hold on. So not a word yet has been uttered. Well, I guess except Bismillah. And she's already annoying. We have to hear chip crunching before a word is spoken on the stream. She couldn't possibly eat the chips before coming live. No, no, no. Let me wait. Start a stream and then eat fucking chips. Feral. I like that. <laughs> Feral. Kathleen, thank you for the super chat. Food poisoning is their safe one now. No, but I'll pro probably right. Blech. Hi, almost on pause. Hey, it's great, Bo. Look at my sub. That looks like a subway. That bread, that shitty ass bread, that looks like a Subway sandwich. She didn't make that sandwich. So after just, okay, now we can have the debate. Is, is a Subway like junk food or whatever? I consider that junk food. That's shit quality food. That bread is made of like gym mats and stuff, garbage. Yeah, I would say this is another cheat meal. After cheat meal, after cheat meal. And even when she cooked one, it was a fucking cheat meal. Man. What time is it where you are? Hi, oh Quest God, Never more. Thank you for the super chat. Bethany 518. Hi, Bindi Boo. It is really good. <laughs> We're exercising moderation today, not perfection. Oh, bees and let. When has there ever been one day of perfection? exercising moderation. I don't believe there'll be moderation either, but hey, that's just me. Angel of Temptation, thank you for the super chat. What do you think this attitude is while filming? Um, Probably still licking her ass. Like, uh, <laughs> not literally, but uh, yeah. B, thank you. 2.18 a.m. So it's going to be all night owls here. First, uh, subway, <laughs> sub stop. Buff dynamite, you never learn, soon you're gonna be the bone. Mm -mm. Dude, I'm not saying this is the healthiest meal, but I literally walked for hours yesterday. Vlog is coming out soon. 
Oh, okay. So now she's going to eat like shit for, and for what, like a month? Every time she does, she's going to go, guys, you saw that video. You saw how much I walked. Ma'am, you walked a lot less yesterday. You ate an entire chicken pot pie alone. Yesterday's walking is done. So I'm mobile, meaning I won't be bed bound. <laughs> Hi, Rachel. Hi, Melly. It's a sandwich, yeah. Oh, any tips to deal with a breakup? Hi, Island Dragonfly. Um, it's critical, oh, yeah. 7 a.m., love foodie. I don't know. Dojo, honestly, I would say only time will heal those wounds. That's my advice. It's 4 a.m. here, but I'm at work, so I can actually see you. Nice, so night shift. Well, it comes to long, little doll. It's 1.19 p.m. in Kuwait. Yeah, it's, it's exactly, yes. <laughs> Self-care and time, yeah, exactly. Self-care, yes. I'm going to be Max Crafts. I'm going to be charging. I, I I think I know where my, I have a Fitbit, an old Fitbit. I think I know where it is. So I'm going to charge it up. And yes, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Because I want to see how many steps I'm walking. And I want to push for more, you know. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm a weak creature. This is um, meat. I don't know what kind of meat it is. Not good meat. Yeah, knock off Subway. For real. That is a like the knockoff Subway. <laughs> I can't imagine how bad that must be. I I don't like Subway. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Jessica, thank you for the super chat. Theory, she's walking more to avoid hiring a maid. Could be. I really just think she's walking more because she's trying to convince Salad she's actually losing weight because she doesn't want Salad to be cheating on her anymore and she wants her fake husband to be attracted to her. And she really thinks this is going to make a difference. I genuinely believe that this entire thing is because of what happened between Salad and kind of Bella. Hi, Gabrielle. Now you're going to have to get, what do you guys eat at Subway? Just a small packet of crisps. I can't eat a sandwich with little crisps. <laughs> it's hard. Spicy Italian or tuna? This is like a spicy Italian. No, it's more like a cold cut trio. Cheese and onion. I, my ring is in the kitchen because I was doing dishes. <laughs> Turkey sub? Black Forest ham? You don't eat at Subway? Mm. Yeah, Subway sucks. It's called Sub Stop. It's not Subway. Miss Movie Buff, thank you for the super chat. Oh, boy. These uh, these live streams are hard to sit through, eh? Oh, my God! Whoa. <laughs> oh, that was fucking freaky. Oh, shit. Every hair on my body just stood up. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm so glad you all saw that too. Ah, uh, what the fuck? <laughs> oh my God. Hold on, let me reload that. If that was not the freakiest fucking thing that ever happened, holy shit. <laughs> What happened? I don't know. I have no idea what happened. She didn't delete it. This is my copy. They... No, 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 it doesn't matter if she was watching. She has no control of the copy we play off of my channel. Do you understand? That was just like, ooh, like, <laughs> these are getting hard to sit through. Boom. It's like, okay, bitch. Whoa, man, that was nuts. Wow. Okay. Miss Movie Buff, thank you for the super chat. I was sorry. That threw me off. I know. I thought I hallucinated too. I got all stiff like a deer in headlights. And I was like, oh, wait, everybody can see this happening too. Ooh. Mama Fry was listening. <laughs> delicious. Wait, delicious DMV baddie. But does he thank you for the super chat? Was so good. I have so much left over, but I'm like, I want to sub. Like I was really crazy.
She has none left over. We're talking about the fucking chicken pot pie again. There's no leftover chicken pot pie. Stop lying. <laughs> Take the hint. <laughs> okay, bye. Bring it. The subway smell when you walk in. I know you could smell it. If there's a subway near another store, you can smell it. <laughs> the fake flowers look vibrant. <laughs> Thank you. They had a pop of je ne sais quoi. <laughs> so this is called Meat Feast with lettuce, tomato, roca leaves, red onion, pickles, black olives, oil and vinegar, mayo. Mmm. White cheese. You're hungry? My bad, sorry. That's what you get? Nice, Krista. Subway twins. Would you guys travel? That is a great point. If there was any pie left, she would have done a smug pie reveal. See, I didn't eat all the pie. Absolutely true. Good point. It's turkey. Maybe someday. I don't know. Oh, Gabrielle used to work there? Were you inspired by Jared Fogel? No. Actually, when he first came out, yeah. Hi, Shannon. I'm doing okay. Footlong cookies. Excuse me. Hi, Jen Marie. Yeah, nice to see ya. Mary, it's 1.30. I did go on my road trip. My vlog will be out in a few, a couple hours. You live in Kuwait? Nice. It is beautiful. Especially in the winter. Hi, Vamp Diva! Sub stop. Yes, I'm with you. Tuna is my like sandwich weapon of choice too. It's my favorite sandwich, tuna sandwich. I never liked like cold cut so much uh, as much as tuna. Yeah, I still fuck with, with, with tuna. But now because, you know, about like the mercury in the cans of tuna, you got to like tone it down and not eat it too much and stuff. But oh yeah, I still would fuck up a tuna sandwich anytime. First meal of the day. <laughs> it is. But, 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 but not from Subway. Maybe later, if I'm hungry. I'll have the leftover pot pie with some salad, I don't know. I thought, I didn't think that eggy toast was blocked. From 2001 or 2021? <laughs> Shut up. Debbie, really? Sounds like fun. Yeah. You guys are not going to believe where I went. What's for lunch? Oh, hi, Turkish. Salad and lentil soup. You reminded me to make lentil soup. I was thinking, do you think I could make, I just want to mix them all together because I'm kind of craving cauliflower soup and lentil soup. So I was thinking of mixing like the lentils with the, the cauliflower and carrot, mixing it together. I was going to add like cheese, but no, I think I want like a clean soup. I don't know. We'll see. You should be sleeping. A lot of people have trouble. Subway's the worst one to own. Why? The summer is not my favorite, no. The winter here is so good. <clears throat> Thanks, Dojo. It is hard. It's hard to eat clean all of the time, especially at first. I don't think it's like... I do try. Like, people see me eating... Oh, uh, yeah, not everything needs cheese, Chantal. Stop talking to us about eating clean all the time. This is a joke. <sighs> to, you, wait, wait, wait. Subway tuna isn't even tuna. That's right. Neither is their chicken. We have this show in Canada called Marketplace. And they did this like investigation on the like the innards of the subway stuff. It's not really all tuna and it's not really all chicken. It's really gross. Eating something and they think I'm just like giving up. But no, like I'm really trying to, you know, not eat like. Okay, my subway order, for example, used to be like, especially on like a bad day, like where I would just eat whatever. I would order like a foot long, two bags of chips, hash browns, 
plus a pepperoni cheese toasty. I've not seen Eggie since the Villa days. Firehouse subs, they're pretty good. No palm red. My skin is always like this underneath foundation. <laughs> Am I going to eat a snack? Mm, I don't know. Yay, thanks for being here, Shannon. Oh, yeah, baked Korean. Little nitty. Who else was there? I need a mod. I'm just saying, like, you know, when people do a lifetime lifestyle change or diet or whatever, normally that they'll follow through with it for a few days, a week. I don't I don't know, whatever, until they start talking about cheat days. You know, you every day has been a cheat day. What what makes a cheat day a cheat day if it's just another day? I don't see anything. What happened? The empty value of her, do you had a hysterectomy? Yeah, no, I don't get a period anymore. Oh, that's fancy. Alicia, thank you for the super chat. I use fresh tuna that I saute in a little EVOO and flake to make my tuna salad. Very nice, very fancy. I'm trash. I open a can. Nice, Gabrielle. I'm sure you help keep it that way. Turkish, it's sub stock. Okay, thank you. Almost on pause. It's um not affiliated with Subway. And it's not Pepsi product. It's Kinza from Saudi Arabia. Ooh. <laughs> I look sun-kissed. You know what it is? I did go to bed. Yeah, it's 1.30 here. Hi, Crystal. I still have the candy bars over there. <laughs> I haven't eaten any of them. I'm not kidding. Oh my God. Hi, Poppy. Um, the boycott is in support of Palestine. Uh, Palestine. T and Ash. Who are you? Who is that? <laughs> Jewish people. <laughs> of course, there's going to be some trolls. Duh. <laughs> right, Krista? <laughs> Oh no, Ash and Fire. The rumors are true. That like they're not rumors. It's fact. Marketplace CBC Subway Investigation. The episode is on uh YouTube. Highly recommend. It's not rumors. Job. What the heck? No, Shannon, it's the internet. I fear that they would copy strike the shit out of me over here, but um, we could watch this together on fucking Twitch. Twitch is where I do the fuck shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? We could definitely watch that together. Um, we could watch a couple of marketplaces over there. Marketplace is like the best show that Canada does, in my opinion. It's so fucking good. Show us then. I will. That's what I'm saying. I, I fear that they would strike the shit out of me over here. <laughs> so we will do that on Twitch. I'm a Muslim revert. We're our own special breed. Maniac. Bismillah. Thank you. Yeah, Shannon. Alec, thank you for the super sticker. I keep my circle very small as well. Oh, it's not a choice. Your circle's always been small because you have no friends and no one wants anything to do with you. I keep my circle small. Get the hell out of here. Hi, Richard. Amy, I enjoy your video so much. It's like having lunch with my sister. Really? What are you having for lunch? 
aggressive chip bite. See, Sorry. she knows everybody hates while she eats the fucking chip, like hates the sound of the chip eating. So she takes as aggressive of bites as she possibly can to be as obnoxious as possible. Wow. Jessica, thank you for the super chat. If I'm annoying you people with my eating chips, but. But I'm going to keep fucking doing it as annoying as possible. Do you guys watch that girl on TikTok? When she chews, her eye goes like this. You know what I'm talking about? It's like her whole shtick. When are we going camping? Good question. We were going to go like this weekend, but actually maybe we can go this weekend. Good idea. Thanks for reminding me, gum job. I hate saying that. Monica, hi! So you never had an intention to go this weekend. You forgot all about camping. Thanks for reminding me, Gumdrop. Fucking idiot. Ruthie, thank you for the super chat. She thinks it's quirky to sound dumb. Hey. What are you doing today? What are you doing? Have to know days, unfortunately. Yeah. I mean, I wonder if I could fit this whole thing in my mouth. <laughs> Yep. Salad's still not going to fuck you. <laughs> okay. Hi, Pew Pew. Ha, ah, Ted Bestwell, thank you for the super chat. Pickle chips are the best. Hi, Nene. That's what she said. Beezing hours. Hi, Lindsay. Or Lizzie. Taylor's version of Lizzie. Hi, Tess. Miss Vicky's, yes. That is what she said. What happened in the groceries? Well, I ate some of them. Hello, Stephanie. Okay, enough eating. <laughs> so I'm going to, um, does anyone know how much? Okay, Gabrielle, how many calories does a six inch cold cut trio have with a side of chips and a Kinza Cola? <sighs> I don't have anything cold. I don't. I did, forgot to stock my restock my fridge with cold water because I'm lazy. And now I don't have any cold water. So okay, I'm gonna vape a little bit. Don't hate me. Mango. <laughs> oh, so we're just not trying at all anything. We're eating all the shit we want. We're loafed over on the couch at one in the afternoon and we're vaping now. Interesting. Uh, Blue Ridge, it's 1.30. Do I have pot pie left? Yes, I do. Show us. Although I will admit when I turn the camera off, I snuck a few more bites. I'm not going to lie. Oh my God, she ate the entire pie. There you go. There you go. She just said it. She snuck a few more bites when she turned the camera off. Does anyone think that there's any pie left? When she snuck a few more bites, that was her eating the other half of the pie, right? Right. Okay. But I do have quite a bit left, so later I'll have some. Rachel Lee. Who did you talk about? I didn't see your comment. Where? Who are you talking about? Tea and, oh, tea and ash. I get it now. <laughs> oh, no. I don't want to go to hell, so I shouldn't laugh at that. Italian sub. Me too. I crave it. Like, I want to do the 23 and me. I think I have some Italian in my blood. No, I don't. I think, what, what, what did I say it was? Okay, my, my, my mom's dad is French. My dad is, like, pure French. And the family tree on my dad's side had, like, relatives named Napoleon and stuff. So that's, like, pure French. So I'm French. And then my grandma, my mom's mom, Irish, like really Irish. So I'm French Irish, but I love Italian food so much. <laughs> yeah, but with that theory, uh, theory, you went on a 17 day paneer strike. Does that mean maybe there's a little Indian in you too? You uh, woke up in the middle of the night like a psychopath and went, boom, $100 Greek food. Bam. Like, does that mean that you're a little Greek? No. You're none of these things. You're just a fat ass who likes to eat all the food. God damn. About calories? What? Girl, I don't know. Oh, sorry, I guess. You're going to get 700? Okay, but like... Hey, hot tea. Yeah. 
a little up. Rachel, let me see. Oh, there's one message. No. Oh, Poppy. I don't see it. Sorry. You're going to have to say it again. I don't know why it's not showing. I'm frerish. <laughs> Your 23 and me was so disappointing. I'm like 98 pure, whatever I am. What did they say? Tian says. Skip it ahead. But yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I was going to take every day. I say I'm taking a break from going for a walk because when we go out, no Turkish, it's really, really like not a good time. So I don't think I would have like hardly anybody in the, the chat if it was members only because nobody likes me. So it's 119. Oh, that. She can't do members only anymore. Interesting. Because no one likes me. Does that mean she barely has any members left? Because that's how I take that. It used to be the perk. She would do the members only chat, like something to give. She would call it her membership perk. That's when she had members to give a perk to. Now, what people don't like me, so I can't do member only chat. Oh, I that's interesting. I would love to know how many members she has left. Too boring. <laughs> this is um. Oh, rage tulip. This is mango and it tastes like real like mango ice cream. It's so good. Impromptu weigh in. I actually weighed myself like this morning. And I went up a very little bit. It was like 160 point something instead of 159. Whatever. It's gonna we love you. Thanks, Rachel. It's gonna fluctuate, you know. So I don't know. I, this doesn't irritate my lungs. Is it real tobacco? The only thing that really irritates my lungs is cigarettes. Instantly, if I smell it secondhand, oh, it's like if I if I even I mean inhale it secondhand, like no. But you smoke cigarettes whenever you don't have a vape or access to a shisha or whatever. What are you lying about? We saw you smoking cigarettes, and your husband smokes cigarettes too. So you get in that secondhand. Stop fucking lying. She likes to shit on cigarettes because I'm a smoker. It is what it is. She likes to be able to make that fucking face she makes and goes like, ew, Frenchie, but there's smokers, this and that, and smokers, that and that. You are one too. Shut the fuck up with your weird fucking judgment. You're smoking it in every other way that you can smoke it. You've had blood clots and shit. Girl, you're on like 16 fucking puffers and stuff. The whole thing about her, her shitting on cigarettes is just to keep on making comments about my, like, smoker's cough and smoker's this. You, you're fucking dumb, Chantal. <laughs> I love mango, too. I think it's, like, one of my favorite fruits. I don't know. My favorite vegetable is pickles. But, that, like, real vegetables that are not pickled, I would say broccoli, maybe. It's really bad for you. My favorite vegetable is pickles. <laughs> Your lungs like scented candles, really? <clears throat> Still offers a members only. Yeah, I'm gonna do some members only streams for sure. I gotta think of more perks and like more badges and stuff. I just haven't like I don't know. It's hard for me to. Man, no one cares about perks and badges on your channel. That's not gonna bring the members. The members are gone because the content fucking blows. You want members back on your channel? You want views in general? You got to do something. People aren't sticking around for this. People are, certainly aren't paying to participate in this chat. Fix your fucking channel. The perks for your members. Get the hell out of here. Focus. My mind is scattered, you know? Glycerin and flavoring. Oh. Taking meds for it to heal. Sour diesel. Oh, so that's not tobacco. One hour, 20 minutes left, 12 hours. Nice. 12 hours. I always found so long because after eight hours, you're like ready to go. <laughs> you're like four more hours. You can do it. Cigarettes and asbestos. Yeah. Oh, rage. I do. Here and there. How many peppers are left? We should count them. I have. So here's the thing with the peppers. I actually had some peppers already in the fridge. I put cauliflower and potato salad like here. Really? It was gross? But vaping, yeah, I see people like get like, what is it, popcorn lung? 
or like they get really bad reactions. Like they get, I've seen people in the hospital, young people from the vaping, but I don't do it like often. Seriously, like this is the first time I've done it in like a long time. Uh, why point out the obvious? If you haven't vaped in a long time, why would you start vaping again? You're clearly not addicted if you hadn't vaped in a long time. Why would you go right back to it? I don't believe that you haven't vaped in a long time. I think you're hooked on tobacco. You don't want to admit that you are, but it seems uh, like the reality of the situation. Fucking judgmental asshole. You going to wait up for your hubby? I work 72 hours a week. I used to, like, do that, Krista, because I liked the paychecks, honestly. When I was working, you know, I loved, like, when I was working at StarTech, when I worked at the hospital, I was, like, salaried. So, I was I salaried? I think so. It was, like, a set amount. So, I didn't, like, salary? I don't like it. Because I always ended up working more hours. Strain peas. <laughs> Freeze the peppers. Stuffed peppers? Hmm... Probably not. Sounds complicated. I'm afraid the rice will be hard. Oh, I guess I could cook the rice first. I don't even know how to cook that. So what, you just add like meat and rice? Cooked rice? Gumdrop. <clears throat> yeah, Blue Ridge. I get that. Dehydrates my mouth. Yes, yeah. I'm always thirsty when I'm vaping too. But it doesn't taste like any cigarettes. I like that. Shut down to one job of going back to nursing school. Oh, wow. While working? You can do it, Krista, I'm sure. If you can work 72 hours, you can do it. It's going to be hard, but think of the payoff, you know? <clears throat> have you tried camel milk or cheese? No, Sister Sunshine, have you? Is it good? Yum. Been listening, trying to wake up. Yeah, it's hard waking up sometimes. Cheese, cottage cheese. She doesn't know if she was salaried or not because she's lost track of what lie she was telling us and what job lie she was in the middle of. She was lying about the job. She's lying about overtime. She's she's a fucking liar. This bitch would love having like being a salaried employee because she's a lazy fuck. She's probably always late, doesn't show up often. Uh, and, she, you know, she would still have her salary. That's Chantal. She's not somebody who goes above and beyond. She goes way below, so. She's a staple in your diet. I know. I used to hate it, like, just a few years ago. My mom would always eat it. And I would be like, ew, you're so gross eating that. <laughs> Dorothy Lynch dressing? What is that? Tess, I used to live in Kuwait. It's beautiful and peaceful there. One of my favorite places I ever lived. It is very peaceful here. That's what I like about it. It's not the same kind of stresses. Like, the only stress I feel here is, like, my own personal stresses. Do you know what I'm saying? I get that. Yeah. So, yeah, it is. There's, I mean, there's, and there's a lot to do. Like, that's why, like, every, oh, yeah, I didn't finish my sentence earlier. Every day I'm like, okay, I'm going to stay home and like, just relax, like for one day. But no, I end up going out and walking for a few hours. So I'm going to start up my Fitbit. I'm losing the will to live. This is so fucking boring. I'm doing a massive skip ahead and we're almost at the end at this point. I don't know. Once or something. I want like a whole bunch of kittens. I don't know. What? I heard something about this on Twitter and now I hear the context of what I heard. Wait. I can go outside by myself for sure. It's just boring by myself, Turkish, you know? I don't know. <sighs> no, Carl, not yet because... I'm not sure. Do you think it's mean? Like, do you think? Okay, yes, this is what I saw on Twitter. So the question being answered in the chat is, have you gotten Julia Spade yet? No, is the answer. And here's the bullshit reason of why. Spaying is mean. Like, do you think that cats should get to have children? <laughs> I don't know. Once or something. I want like a whole bunch of kittens. I don't know. I know we're all supposed to get outraged by what she just said. I'm not giving her that. I'm just going to say, no, Chantal, it's not mean to spay a cat. It's responsible to spay a cat. You're not responsible. Um, of course, it's childish. 
She's too lazy to go and spay the fucking cat. Stop it. <laughs> Just, I'm, I'm not, I'm not even giving her this one. Don't feel sick about it. Don't nothing. She wants a reaction by that stupid comment. She doesn't give a shit about kittens. She doesn't feel like the cat should have kittens. She's too lazy and broke to get the cat spayed. She doesn't care to put that money there. That's why she hasn't spayed the cat. It's no deeper than that. Don't let her piss you off. Salt and Lightly Blondie, thank you for the super chat. You, you enjoyed his garlic bread? Yeah. Yeah, that's they a good point. <laughs> Thanks, my baby. I just wanted to show you some much-deserved kindness. Thank you, no name. I appreciate it. Kindness is good. Bip Bop, thank he's, you for the super chat. He's busy with something in the other room. Oh, oh sure he is. He's always it. just in the other room, eh? Always in the other room. It's amazing. Never anything to do. Always in the other room. The other room at somebody else's place, maybe, yeah. But always in the other room. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think we have enough cats in the world taken care of, unfortunately. Yeah, that's true. Sometimes cats only have one kitten. <laughs> I don't know. Aww. Oh, shut up, all. Oh. This is stupid. This is just stupid. This is 100% just trying to get a, a reaction out of the community. I'm not falling for it. Lord Baroque, thank you for the super chat. Don't threaten us with Arby's. <laughs> That's funny. She's boring by herself. Yes, absolutely. Can you imagine how miserable tossed salad must be? Yes, absolutely. What is wrong with her? So many things. Where would you even start? For real, for real. Oh, yo, yo. Pickled Plutonian picks. Thank you for the super chat. Stop blowing the smoke into the camera. Yeah. Smoking in the same uh, room as the cat, too. Blowing it in the camera after eating the bag of chips. She just wants to, like, annoy everybody as much as possible. Oh. Took us outside and did a live. <laughs> the posing with the ghastly music. You don't like my my vlogs because there's another one coming out with a lot of posing. <laughs> what is he? Taylor's version. Going to bed, but have a great day and rest of chat. Take care. Heart, heart, heart. Thank you, Lizzie. I really, really appreciate that. Thank you for the super chat. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good rest and sweet dreams. You engage with your audience. Yeah, I try to read like every comment if I can. For sure. Thank you. Are there any historical sites? Yeah, there's a lot, but I've been to a lot of them already, too. I put one of my cats in a tiny abaya. If you check our couples channel, Sister Sunshine, we have a lot of, we go to a lot of museums and stuff. You should do a live walk one day. Maybe I can do one every day down by the beach or something. I don't know. Okay. So a lot of, still where he always is. I mean, he's with me, but just not on camera. That's why. You guys are probably wondering. Good night. No, I hate the music and all the posing, but we'll watch and hate anyway. Oh, thanks. <laughs> you don't understand Turkish coffee. If you don't put music, it's even worse. Just watching me. Oh, that was Turkish coffee. It's amazing, eh? They didn't get blocked. She actually giggled that off. Huh. That's a little too honest. <laughs> puff and puff and like, I don't know. I wanted to share that I've been married for 18 years. We had a wobble too, but we, the love outweighs the anger, which will pass, I promise. Yeah, thanks, bad baby. That's encouraging, yeah. Yeah, you know. That's really funny, Pixie. I noticed that too. She does, she thanks people, let's say for a super chat or a comment. It, it's like she's taking a dig at me. The way she goes like, thanks, you know what I mean? Okay, so taking digs at me is the only way you know how to be polite with your audience? Like, is that really a dig at me or sort of a dig at yourself? Oh, that's the thing. You got to weigh it. I'm glad you could pick up a little bit of the home training that you did not get by trying to poke at me, you fucking idiot. You know, we haven't been though. Bring us to the two one on a live. Okay, I will for sure. I will for sure. Give him our best. I will for sure. We do we. Here she is. She got, oh, what are you doing? She got out of her box to come here, flopped herself on the ground and went back to sleep. You're so cute. Oh, yes, you are. 
<sighs> Blood sugar time. I've always enjoyed the walks. Dr. John Smith the third. <laughs> Is it? Thank you. Okay, listen, listen. There's nothing going on in this stream. I'm turning this off. I'm, I'm vetoing this. Just get the hell off the screen. Yeah, there was one thing that I had wanted to point out in this stupid live stream, but I fear that we skipped over it because I did lose the will to live. Uh, at one point, she says something about her shtick. Chantal, in this live stream, talks about shtick. Now, who talks about shtick? Me. I talk about shtick. I've been talking about shtick for the last few days in regards to that little shit unicorn pondu jacking my shtick. I have mentioned it a few times this week, right? To hear Chantal in her fucking hijab with all the anti-Semitic comments that she loves to make and little jabs at me and stuff, to use the word shtick that she clearly got over here watching our videos, you dumbass, that's a Yiddish word. So I find it extra funny that you too love to jack my shtick and my words and my terms and stuff. Well, you straight up jack some Yiddish. <laughs> Mazel tov, you fucking moron. I love that for you the most. And that really was the best part of the whole stream. Fuck the stream. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Keep talking about the shtick, Chantal, and keep taking shtick because you got no shtick of your own and you're not the only one. Unicorn Pondu, I'm talking to you too, fuck. <laughs> the shtick jackers of the community. I love it. Ah, Anyway, y'all, <laughs> that shtick thing just fucking sent me when I heard her say that. I was like, she has no idea what she just said. I love that. I love that so fucking much. <laughs> Lunar Bun, thank you for the super chat. Oh, neat. The stream where I pointed out someone was deleting comments and she played coy. The original comment was someone telling her that salad didn't deserve her. <laughs> she does need to boycott shtick. <laughs> it's just funny. Yes, I called them shtick jackers. What would you call them? <laughs> All I'm saying is if you want to take shots at someone unprovoked for no fucking reason, you should make sure first that you have your own personality and you're not straight jacking their shit for the past two years before you join up with the Reddit hags and start taking dick shots. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. You know, whatever. Shit shackers? No, shtick jackers. <laughs> anyway, listen, y'all. We went, uh, we went, I blame you. We, you forced me to go off topic there. I went off track at the end there. Otter League. Well, that's cute. I, I tend to like the original of things. I don't like the ripoffs, but that's just me. Uh, yes, we went quite off topic there at the end, but uh, I couldn't let that shtick comment go. It was just too funny. I have never, ever heard Chantal ever use that word in my life, but I just know that for the past few days in a row, I have mentioned the jacking of the shtick. <laughs> so here she was today, of course, mentioning shtick. I love that the most. Ah, y'all, that was a lot. I'm glad we dipped out on that live stream because there was absolutely fuck all going on there. And uh, come on, it, like, it's not Friday. On Friday, we dilly-dally, we waste a little time, we make hella poop jokes and butt comments and stuff. But this is Friday, Junior. This is Friday, Eve. Nobody has time for her and her fucking live streams on a Friday Eve. Fuck that. Muzzle fucking Tov. That's right, Chantal. Muzzle fucking Tov. <laughs> Yo, thank you so, so much for being here tonight. I really appreciate it. It was a really good laugh. Thank you for putting up with my god-awful voice right now. Um, it's Every time I get sick, it lingers in the nose and throat and shit. It's, it's what I am. It's my weak point. Forgive me. Um, Tomorrow is Friday, of course. I knew there was something. <laughs> What's tomorrow? Tomorrow is Friday. And Fridays are pretty, pretty, pretty precious around here. So tomorrow, butt stuff, poop jokes, cheese comments, all the nasties. Save them up. Think of them tonight. Write, write them down on a post-it. All right? Save them for tomorrow. I need, I need all the nasties tomorrow. And lots of cheese talk. All right? Tomorrow, Friday. Hmm. I'll meet you back here. All right. Until then, everybody, whatever you're doing with the rest of your Friday eves, enjoy, have fun.
Please be safe, whatever it is. Have a great day tomorrow. And of course, be safe. Keep your wits about you. It's easy to mentally dilly-dally on a Friday because you just want to be done at home. But no, you got to be safe and you get through the day. Then you come home and you come and talk about butts and cheese. All right? I will meet you here tomorrow for cheese and butt stuff. Y'all, have a great night. See you tomorrow. <laughs>